and welcome back. You're with Huey, and uh, we're up for another episode of Battletech, our Battletech Extended Commander's Edition mod Let's Play, I hope. And we're playing the campaign as Titan's Maulers. So in the last episode, we na managed to nab ourselves a Warhammer. And uh, sort of after I logged off, I, I kind of realized I did make a bit of a mistake. Um, although it... Uh, it's not that big a deal because we can do some testing with it and I forgot to use the uh, the exchanger I took off of the uh, blackjack and uh, put it onto the warhammer with it being an energy based primarily an energy based mech but having said that uh, I'm not sure it'll make a huge difference um, we'll just have to wait and see um, yeah, because that thing is rocking quite a few heat sinks. So we'll give it a test without the uh, exchanger first. And, uh, well, before we even do that, we'll have a look at the differences in um, overall the Alpha Strike and the, uh, the heat sinking versus uh, having a lower uh, Alpha Strike versus slightly less heat sinking abilities. So. Yeah, uh, it might be better to go with the exchanger, honestly, but yeah, eh, you know, these mistakes happen, and they, and as I said, they tend to happen only when I'm recording uh, new episodes. <laughs> you make these mistakes when you, you're uh, trying to put on a bit of a show, so, um, and speaking of, that, of which, I hope the show is enjoyable thus far. Um, <clears throat> I had a comment um, on uh, an, an, an episode, of, uh, quite a few episodes ago now, because I do pre-record these and upload these in advance, um, and the suggestion was made to me f to change the uh, Mercenary Outfit's name to Titan's Tundras. Now, I, <laughs> I responded back with... Yeah, you know, look, it's an interesting name, but I don't know if it would instill fear into our enemies. It might instill some confusion, um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's have a look at our mech bay. And uh, have a look at the Warhammer. <clears throat> so, we currently have an Alpha Strike of, uh, Alpha Strike of 96 heat. And uh, 54 heat sinking, so it's a difference of uh, 42. Now, if we were to remove two of these and put on the exchanger, honestly, putting on the uh, rangefinder wouldn't be a bad idea either. So it brings us back up to three. So it's. 48 heat sinking and 86 so there is a bit of a difference there honestly um, so what are we at there 38 that that is a bit of a difference you know what we're not even gonna test it we're gonna do this and I'm gonna put the rangefinder on it because why not I mean I guess we don't really need to, but we're going to do it anyway. It's going to take us a day. No biggie. I'll let you know when that <clears throat> but, you know, little mistakes happen. So, let's work on that. There we go. Beautiful. And so we're going to test it out in our first uh, contract with this beast. Um, oh, and it looks like by advancing it a day we've lost out on some contracts but that's okay we've got a destroy base um, and then we could probably go straight on to Liberation Panzer which is a bit of a long mission it should be a challenge not gonna lie so let's negotiate it and uh, I think we're gonna go for So we did spend quite a bit of money on that uh, Warhammer component, so I'm going to go for a little bit of, of cash with uh, some relatively okay salvage. So, um, <clears throat> we're going to have to say goodbye to one of our mechs here, and I think 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Hmm, having a missile boat would be handy. So you know what? I'm going to say goodbye to the Shadowhawk. As much as it pains me to say it, I'm going to give uh, Behemoth the Rifleman, and I'm going to hop into the Warhammer. Let's see how that plays out. Yeah, because uh, was the Shadowhawk's got 920 armor. The, the Vindicator is a little bit squishy. But I think we'll be okay. Because I'm really liking... Okay, so it, uh, the Shadowhawk's firepower is at 3. So is the Vindicator's, but it does have the long range sniping ability. Centurion's firepower is off the charts, as is the Rifleman and the Warhammer. So, let's deploy. <clears throat> and see how this all works out. So, a gunnery school is getting better for a Titan. Um, I'm not sure if I'll save up to try and get a 7, or if I'll uh, upgrade one of the other skills yet. Um, no, each one of those ideas has the merits. So yeah, this will be a good test. I think. And having two, two mechs with rangefinders is going to be huge. It's going to be re really handy for uh, Liberation Panzer, which, by the way, isn't the mission I thought it was. Um, but it's uh, still going to be a challenge, though. Okay, so we, it's just a simple destroy base. Um, there's prelude to hostile uh, actions elsewhere in Herodotus. It is imperative that local government network goes offline to remove their ability to coordinate a response. Darius says, a prelude sounds more like work ahead for us. So let's get this done, Commander. Aye, more to work means more money. Command interface initiated. We're tasked with destroying uh, s several communication structures in, the structures in the target base. Move to the base and start knocking down those buildings. Where are the base defenders? This is a critical facility for Lao, so there may be additional patrols in the area. Are we working for the Capellans? Ugh, okay. Well, <clears throat> guess you gotta take the money wherever uh, wherever you can. Now, uh, this... I know this one. This map can be a bit tricky. So you want to approach from this side, though... Okay, we're down to th one mech with jump jets, so we're gonna want to be careful. Yeah, so we don't want them to. Uh, maybe we do want them to get a visual. Then again, <clears throat> you know what? Move order received. Let's do that. I don't think they can get a visual on us because we got range finders. Duh. Yeah, we can already see them. All right. I copy. <clears throat> so they're reserved. Perfect. Um, you know what? I'm going to reserve too. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. So, let's see. We've got. Might be better to Receiving you. have a shot at it with uh, Decker, actually. At least the first shot. Yeah. Get him in some cover. Yeah, it's a light shredder turret. Two SRM sixes and a flame and two flamers. Uh pretty weak though. Wow. Just like Decker's shooting. Um Yeah. Alright, it's up to Warhammer uh the Warhammer. Maybe we'll We'll head in over this way. <clears throat> the Warhammer is a little bit on the slow side, I've got to say. So 42 damage each, that's uh, awesome. There it goes. Let's see what Glitch can do. Not much. Glitch can do a sprint maneuver. So try and get around here and take this uh, turret and these mechs out. Got it. So 
so I can squeeze through here. Oh, we got a locust, look out. Standing by. Super scary. Um gonna do a move brace. Thirty-five ton, twenty ton, twenty ton. They're no doubt gonna have uh, reinforcements. So we're gonna reserve again and again. Good. Good to go. So I wanna get uh, behemoth in there. I wanna take out whatever this turret is. Acknowledged. Because if I can, um, that is a light defender turret, and it's pretty tough. Copy that. Good thing I sent Glitch and uh, Behemoth up that way. Are you kidding? You son of a bitch. Alright. <clears throat> what do we got? Fire starter and a locust. The fire starter is probably going to use a jump maneuver. I would say. Got it. But it is imperative we take out this uh, turret to begin with. It could mess us up a bit. And it's gone. Target destroyed. Another one! <clears throat> really? Okay. I'm gonna show you how we punish little shits. That's a miss, unfortunately. However, we've got the follow-up. On fire, that's not good. Standing by. But that's okay, um, because <clears throat> I'm going to try for a uh, follow-up. Excuse me one moment. I'm going to go for melee here. Got it. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. You are kidding me. Alright, so... What's up, boss? So you got a, uh... Hmm... Do I go for the melee, or do I go for... A rear shot? It's not a great chance to hit. I think I go for melee. Let's do it. Targeting for physical attack. Oh goodness me. Why oh why did I risk it? Failed to connect. Ooh, shot me in the back, you little bastard. Two of them. Ow. Well, that's not good. Another back back hit. Uh, maybe not. That's not too bad. I'm showing minor damage. Let's 
Watch the flank. Ah, oh, God, he's in trouble. That shot got past my armor. We're gonna have to do a, uh... Hmm. Let's see, who's the least evasive? Get a rear shot on you. Well, in all honesty, I might go for the flanking. Let's try an alpha strike on this thing, see how that works out. Hell yeah! We're gonna wreck his, wreck his day. Let's do this. That's not bad heat sinking, actually. Good to go. Okay. Don't want to expose my back to that turret. Uh, <clears throat> I can shoot that locust in the back though, which should be good. Just gotta watch that goddamn. Yeah, really got to watch this fire starter. So, where's that turret? That turret... Could get a bad shot in on me. Let's risk it. Uh -huh. I got to get rid of that little bastard. Good old Centurion. And Behemoth. What's up, boss? You can come in with... Oh, no, no, you cannot come in with the melee attack. Gotta watch this thing. Hmm. A back shot. It's not gonna be good for me. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad. Still a back hit. Ow, it did get me in the back. Are you kidding? Reporting internal damage. Wow. Ready for orders. Yeah, this is not working out so good. Um Let's try and get in over here. Let's see, I'm not sure how far that locust can move. Jumping. I definitely want to slow down that uh, fire starter though. Why not? Decent head hit, very good, very good, very good. Okay, he's just guarding. Awesome. Um So we are going to target the fire starter. And there he goes. And as you can see, the uh What can I do for you? Where is that little bastard? He's hiding from me. Where do you run to? Oh, over there. So we're gonna run around here. Don't need to tell me twice. I am gonna take a shot. I'm not sure what good it'll do. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard to hit. So we're gonna go for precision strike, just to slow him down. Firing everything I've got. Hey, we still hit. Yeah, that back hit was nasty. So, I'm gonna spend some time cooling down, I think. Mm. 
Uh, I want to face that way. Affirmative. <clears throat> All right, so that worked out. Orders. <clears throat> oh no! No, 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 no. Well, hmm. I guess it's it's not. It's not really worth it. So it's reserve. This thing's can really mess up your day. Right, okay, I'm just gonna say that, put that out there. Ooh. Love the melee on this thing. Uh, only a 42% chance to hit with the small lasers. But, whatever. Engaging physical attack. It's a miss. But it worked out in the end. Yeah, got to get him used to that, Mac. Uh, so you know what, we're going to move in. On my way. Brace. I need to cool down. Waiting for orders. Um, sprint. Roger. That yeah, was a close call. This is the downside of having such weak back armor, though. Standing by. I can get a shot on it from back there, which I might actually do. <clears throat> actually, no, what? No, I won't. We're gonna run around here. So we can put out those fires. <clears throat> And uh, let's get Decker in there. Go. Yeah, do as much damage as we can. Heading out. It's light defender. It's quite strong. Taking the shot. Definitely need to work on Decker's gunnery. <laughs> so, I hear ya. Without doubt. Without doubt. All right. Which should never have any trouble with it, though. There you go. And a couple of large lasers. Just for good measure. Oh, why not? We'll start laying into the uh, large buildings on the way through. Locking on. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Commander. Decker can take a shot at that turret. Very nice. Can you? Oh. We've got multiple units uh, protecting this facility. Be careful not. To get caught in an ambush. Well, let's get rid of this turret nice and quick then. Come on, Decker. Oh, he actually hit it this time. Miracles will never cease. Uh, let's get in there. Still any large lasers, but that's okay. So we can split our fire here. Actually, you can hit with everything, but let's just work out what we need. Alright, so uh, 107. So. Eight, eight, so 64 each. 100 and. 
So two of these should do it. Might be a little bit overkill, actually. And the rest on that. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Oh, my mass mark must have been a little bit off. Or either that I've got a stray shot. Here comes another little bastard. I'm gonna have to sort you out. Alright. <clears throat> so, one of these on you. One on you. Let's, let's do that on B. Actually. Let's do that on C. Complete overkill. Um, you now I may as well just turn these off. Firing on multiple enemies. There we go. Structure down. That works. Reserve. Reserving action. It's fine. Yes, Commander. We'll just take down the next building while they come in. So we do have a large here, which I might target. Target confirmed. Not a particularly good alpha strike. Ooh, that's getting weak. Damage minimal. I'll have to do something about you. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure a precision strike would help. What can I do for you? Actually, what if Glitch got in there? Okay, her chances to hit aren't too bad, all things considered. And if I did a precision strike, that'd be a lot better. So, that's what we're gonna do. Straight to the guts. Gotta love that gunner, uh, nine gunnery. Alright. So we're gonna shoot the two larges on that and the rest on that. That's a very nice hit. 28.5 damage, that's interesting. So, Behemoth can follow up. Acknowledged. So, we need 34 on that. Uh, complete overkill. Um, let's do that. Engaging multiple targets. Leopard inbound, Commander. I meet you at the LZ. That'll do. <clears throat> Oh, how cute. Another little locust come to play, have you? Standing by. So we do have to watch Decker's armor. Um, so his left arm's a bit exposed. Let's 
turn around this way. Actually, you know what? We're going to reserve again. <clears throat> okay. Receiving you. Let's see if we can get him to move forward. Still a quick sensor lock. Got a lock. That may bait him to move. No. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Keep sending that cannon fodder. I really appreciate it. They're all 20 tonners, too, which is kind of funny. Uh, we're just going to brace, cool down, <clears throat> and. Waiting for orders. I'm actually going to move up and then brace. Got it. A wasp. How adorable. Ready for orders. It's a terrible chance to hit, so we're gonna use sensor lock again. I've got a sensor lock. Actually gonna move up here. It's taken a bit of a beating, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Computer's telling me it's uh, minimal damage, so. You know what? <clears throat> Gonna do a shoot and then move. Hmm. Or do I do a move and shoot? No, we we'll do a sh shoot then move. Yeah. Let's go for a head hit. Why not? And now he's the stick. <laughs> All right. Um, Good to go. Glitch can do a multi-target. <clears throat> Cause honestly, I think alright, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. All we need You betcha. All we need is six damage on that. We may as well do the rest on that. So let's go B. Why not? Uh -huh. That worked. Not a single hit. Wow. Get you next time. Did take the. Uh... Yes, commander. Oh, precision strike. Yes, yes, yes. So it did take some evasion off him. Slows him down a bit. I'm gonna get Decker in. And slow him down again. Aye, aye. Affirmative. Well, it'll do. <clears throat> it'll do. Uh. Let's get you in closer. Not great chances. Hmm. Should be enough though. Enemy 
All targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you are right now. Mission successful. Huzzah. A little messy. Took a little bit longer than I uh, had anticipated. But we got a nice, decent payout from that. <clears throat> Bit of damage due to back shots. Completely my fault, of course. Uh, but we do have some opportunities for uh, to put together a couple of smaller mechs that we can just straight up sell. Or... Uh, maybe keep them as part of our collection. Why not? Yes, why the heck not? Um, <clears throat> now, I'm not sure if we're going to get time to do the uh, story mission. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll head there and have a look at what we've got that neck you asked for is cleared for fighting. in terms of, uh, you know, um, items to buy... Uh, or even mech warriors to hire. Okay, so we are going to have to do some repairs, which, again, totally my fault. Just leave these guys a bit open. Now, the Warhammer is a bit slower than I would like, but my goodness, it does deal out some damage. Especially at close range. Okay. Repair these two guys and... Ah, go to the store, of course. And I think... I could be wrong, but I think I had a Phoenix Hawk I forgot to sell. Yeah, I did. And that is our first locus that we're keeping. And we're going to keep the Wasp as well. So, let's have a quick last check of anything that we may want here. I don't think so. No. LRM5? Uh, SRM2? No. Okay, so equipment. Didn't have much there either. Okay, so let's go to contracts and we'll head to the system. We might call that an early episode though. Um, after we've done our shopping there. Yeah, it's only 20 minutes ago. There's no way we'd have enough time to do that. So anyway, let's travel. <clears throat> and head off to do Liberation Panzer for the next episode. Job's done, Commander. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is check out my Warrior experience. Do we have enough... Um, okay, so what do these two get us? This one gets us a... Don't need recoil penalty in an energy-based mech. The plus 10% melee hit might be handy, though. In fact, I think it'll be very handy. Let's do it. Confirmed, Commander. Deck, Commander. you really need some gunnery, dude. Uh, get that gunnery, man. You know what? Uh, recoil penalty. I think that only applies to ballistic weapons, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's just give us plus one max evasion. That would also be handy, but I really think the gunnery is, is the bigger priority here. So we're going to do that. And we're going to hold on to the rest. Training complete. Standing by. Uh, you definitely need some gunnery as well. As much as I would like to get uh, minimum range penalty, that could be handy as well, but no. Oh, yeah, no, we'll get the, the bonus to gunnery. Mech warrior training complete. So, glitch. What can I do for you? Um, don't really think you need. Okay, recoil penalty and overheat threshold. Could be good. So got the plus one max evasion, which could be good too. So could the cold shot bonus. They're all really good abilities. Um, but honestly, 
I think you need the overheat threshold. And that should the Centurion. Yep. We're gonna be doing that. Training confirmed, Commander. That looks good. Looks good for now anyway. Alright, let's continue our journey. Comstar News Bureau. <clears throat> An upwelling of civic pride and displeasure with the occupying Decronus Combine troops has turned into an independence movement on the world of Vithandi. Sadly, this has resulted in outbreaks of violence across the world, and, and the Combine is expected to come down heavy on these seditionists. The situation on Galtor 3 has taken an unexpected turn. It appears that the Fox has finally turned his attention to the campaign and, dis and dispatched the 4th Crucis Lancers to reinforce the beleaguered AFF. FS units. The Lancers were able to turn the tide, and the DCMS has been driven from the system. A radical new combine variant, the Trebuchet TBT-7K, aims to use direct fire support instead of the more typical indirect fire model. Only time will tell if this is a, this is a truly viable alternative to the tried and true standard of the tre Trebuchet. <clears throat> Smelling blood in the space lanes, pirate activity has surged this past month with attacks reported along the periphery borders. Lady Death has also reared her head with bloody raids on the fringe, fringes of the, both the Federated Suns and Torian space. Few are left alive where her band of marauders strikes. In the latest Grand Tournament news, the field of 128 opponents has already been widowed down, but there are still dozens of serious contenders left. By the time you are hearing this, hearing this, a winner has likely already been decided. This has been the CNB October broadcast. All right. <clears throat> I have heard reports of those broadcasts uh, eventually stopping at some point, which I'm sure, if that is the case, I'm sure uh, that uh, the creators of the mod will continue to work on that. Melee in the mech bay. You're speaking to Yang in the mech bay when the yelling starts. Across the bay, a pair of your mech warriors face off in front of a battle mech. You get there just as Decker pulls back to throw a punch at Medusa. Yeah, set, set, uh, send them to settle things in the simulators. You raise your voice and both mech warriors turn to you. Decker's fists relax relaxing. A few mech warriors have a dispute set in the battle pods. Frankly, you both need to practice, especially you, Decker. <laughs> the mech warriors grumble and wander off. You hear later from Yang that Medusa absolutely thrashed Decker, just destroyed him in the simulated battle, and that Decker has been moping about it ever since. Well, dude, you kinda do suck at shooting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a really well timed uh, event. Really well timed. Kind of funny, actually. So, I don't, actually, I don't think we can look at the shops at uh, Pansy because uh, it's under directorate rule, isn't it? Ah, yes. Enemies of the Oregon Directorate, so. That work order is complete, boss. Top notch work, if I may say so. Good news, yeah, we just ready have, have a ship upgrade done. I'm never ready to go over financials, dude. Never, ever, ever. Uh, never, ever? Never, ever? Forever, ever. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at engineering and see what we can have next. Um. <laughs> uh, what's, what's the habitat pod? Uh, do we need the habitat pod? Do we really need it? Maybe... Maybe some recreation. I think it's time we got ourselves a lounge. It's ten days, and it gives us a plus, plus one to morale, All so, right. sure. Right Let's do it. So, let's go not yet, because uh, 
we're going to end it there, folks. So, it's a nice short episode. Um, yeah, about 45, 50 minutes. Um, because, you know, starting the episode might not be prudent. So, I hope you can join us for the next one. We'll be starting the story mission, Liberation Panzer. And just as a reminder, because only because it really helps my channel, and I would appreciate it immensely, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to drop a like on the video. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, we'll hope to see you next time. But until then, as I always say, this is Huey signing off. Take it easy, everyone, and bye for now.